We are live in Oklahoma City Gold League action in the Continental Classic must-win match for Roosh and Swerve Strickland. Roosh, German suplex. Oh, on that shoulder. That yep. German was on the shoulder. Sorry, Excalibur. There's another one. Uh, Roosh, his momentum carries him through. Roosh to his feet, rolling elbow strike. Both men, the same idea. Both men stunned, Tony. Yeah, both of those Germans were released Germans, so they had extra power to sling him back. And now, both men trying the same thing twice now. And, man, you look at Swerve. He's hurting, too, now. I don't know if it caught in his teeth or his jaw or chin or what, but they both had those two boots in mind. One boot, each man's jaw, and they're both down from it. We're talking about how this is a must-win match for Swerve Strickland. If he has a victory here, he will secure a spot in the semifinals. Roosh, a bit more complicated. He needs a victory here and a John Moxley victory in our main event. He'll have a tiebreaker yeah. win over Swerve Strickland if, if Roosh wins this match. It's like any tournament in any sport. You need help sometimes from an opponent that's that you're not competing against. And that's the situation with Roosh. Yeah, Taz, here we go. You know, we started out on the mat with holds, and now they're standing up. Wow, just pounding away on each other. Taz, I think the more this becomes a slugfest, the more it favors Roosh. There's no doubt about that. I agree. And I released belly to belly suplex into the turnbuckles. Yeah, I don't know if you want to get into a throwing hands type situation with that cat right there. He's a real rugged guy with his hands, meaning Roosh. And you know, Roosh would love to get his hands on John Moxley in the semifinals. Avenge that uh, being put to sleep by Moxley, Tony. Yeah, and there you see Blue League matches coming up this Saturday at the Frost Bank Center in San Antonio. We do have tickets available for oh. the Legion Holiday Bash. Look! Oh, that leg gave out, man. Bruce was looking for the Bulls' horns instead. Single leg crab. Smart idea by Strickland. A very simple but very effective maneuver by Swerve Strickland punishing that injured leg of Roosh. Love how he has it on. He's got a perfect figure four grip on that knee. He had it. I like where his feet are. That's going to stretch him, I think, here. Yeah, stretch muffler there. Locked in, and Roosh, you can see, trying to maneuver his way to the ropes. No, maneuver his way to the back. Uh -huh. Inside cradle, Roosh. Can he do it? No. Almost got caught in that inside cradle. Good counter by Roosh. How about that uh, that stretch muffler? Right? The fans standing up. They thought it was done. Oh, Roosh overhand shot and the knife edge chop echoing throughout the arena here in Oklahoma City. Big rolling haymaker now. The straight jacket by Roosh into the pile driver. Oh, brother. Yeah, he twisted at the end, and now he's got Swerve down and Swerve. Well, that twist definitely brings more torque to how your opponent lands on, you know, on his head and neck area. So that was uh, impressive by Roosh, but more impressive the kick out by Strickland. I don't know if how many pile drivers that Roosh or that Swerve Strickland could take, basically because of the shoulder. It's got to be a lot of compression on the shoulder too, Taz. It does. It sends uh, it sends shockwaves through your traps and right. your shoulders. Right now, Roosh, but still moving gingerly, Excalibur, with that leg issue. Yeah, Swerve taking himself outside of the ropes, but yeah, Roosh, he is struggling to move. This does not bode well for a semifinals appearance for either man. Going into the semifinals with the Continental Classic with a very obvious injury. I mean, you know, a competitor like John Moxley would be licking his lips about that. Oof. Well, and again, Moxley is already in the semifinals, which will be next week, next Wednesday in Orlando. Edition Financial Arena, as you saw, and tickets at AWTIX.com and live on TBS right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, big exchange. Oh, oh. Swerve changes levels, catches Roosh. The side of the jaw. No! Swerve spilling the outside. Brutal landing right there. Brutal landing. Yeah, we, we talk so much about the hard edge of the apron. I think and landing on the apron would have been a better one. Let's sure. see how Strickland lands after this belly to belly. Yeah. Well, it, it might have been better, man. He posted on that bad shoulder to protect himself, but the, <laughs> it didn't work because he landed right on the outside real hard. Swerve. His momentum used against him by Roosh. Great anticipation by Roosh. Now needs to push the pace. Can't afford to give Swerve any moment to recover. We know how resilient he is, Tony. Yeah, and here's, we got a cover here. And the cover, Roosh thinks he's got it. Yeah, that's the second time that he thought he had it and he was wrong. I also, just uh, 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 tip of the cap to the referees. We've not had a count out win and they've been very lenient about guys on the outside. They want to see him, we do, everybody, see him win it or lose it in the ring. I agree, I think that's, that the referees have done a phenomenal job throughout the Continental Classic. That's not talked about enough, but right. good observation and good point, Shavon. 
A swerve. Yeah, I put you on. Thank you, Taz. There's your swerve one. down and look at Roosh have, having some trouble He's struggling. Sending, yeah. Struggling there, yeah. That's rough. That's rough. He's taking some time here because of that leg. Roosh looking for that oh, Tom, The pool is empty. Uh oh. And oh, brother. Now swerve. Four. Fifty. Splash the cover. Oh, Roosh. One. Wow. Kick it out at one. Yeah, with that one bad leg, those legs shot up. And swerve. Catches Roosh coming in. Now swerve rolls over. Got that front chancery. And the brain buster by Swerve. Is this gonna do it? The cover. Rouge kicks out. Impressive kickouts. A lot here from Rouge, but that shot right to the side of the head. The house call on target by Swerve Strickland. He's taking a moment to soak it in, but he can't afford to take too long. Nope. As Rouge rises. And Swerve perched on top. Swerve descends. Swerve stomp on target. That might do it, guys. The cover. Two, three. Now we're doing this match. Swerve. What, what an ass kicking opener. That was a great match. I agree, Shivani. I mean, tip your cap to Roosh. He fought his rear end off with an injury. What an impressive outing. But Strickland got the win. Roosh has been a tremendous competitor all tournament long. But right now, Swerve Strickland with 12 points joins John Moxley in the semifinals of the Continental Classic. But there's a very interesting scenario at play here tonight, Tony. A lot of complexities for John Moxley's matchup. Yeah, absolutely. There you see the complexities that John Moxley wins or matches in a draw. It'll be Moxley against. And Swerve, if Jay White wins a three-way tie for first place between Mox, Swerve, and White. An incredible possibility of three competitors being knotted up at 12 points each.